it's always a pleasure to have you here and thank you for subscribing to the channel if you have subscribed if you've not done that please i really need your subscription so that we can get the channel visible to others that will really need it as well and so please we are looking at something important this day in our series of lecture in french as a foreign language so basic french functional french gst french whatever name you want to call it but it's basic french now this particular video we are looking at different groups of french verbs and now in the last video i talked about the auxiliary verbs the most important verbs in french studies for well, this video, we're going to look at the auxiliary verb, the very well, the first group verb. That's the verb, the very first group verb, the ER verb. I mentioned it earlier. Then we have the second group verb, they are the IR verbs. Then we have the third one as the um, as the RE, RE, or IR, or IR verb. So any of them can take that format. Now, the verb we are going to be looking at today, they are called, we, they are, you know, we call the present indicative mode. That is the present tense or the continuous present tense. So you want to have that at the back of your mind. Now, we have the present simple tense, like I've already, already said, or the present continuous tense. Look at the example we have. We have, je mange, it means I eat or I am eating. So that is what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. Now, the, the first example we are picking here, is the verb uh, parler in the first person singular. Now I've explained the uh, personal pronoun in the last video when I dealt with the auxiliary verbs. But let me go over it again. You have the je for first person singular. You have the tu, you have the il, elle, nous, vous, il, and elle. Now take note, this personal pronouns determine the conjugation of the verb in, uh, in this context. Now, for Joe in first group verb, we have a called endings. For Joe, you add E, we add ES, you add E for E, you add E for L, you have ONS, you have EZ, ENT, ENT, based on the personal pronoun. Now, how do you conjugate a verb in the first group, ER verb? It's very simple. Remove the ER at the end of the verb. This is parler. We remove the ER initially from the verb, and we wrote down what we call the racine, this, everything left, this is. We wrote it for all the personal pronoun. Then for you, we just added an E, we call it determination, the ending. For T, we added an ES. For E, we added an E. For L, we added an E. For N, we added ONS. For V, we added EZ. For E, we added ENT. For L, we added ENT. That we added. Now, what do they mean? We have, for meaning, you have them as I, I speak, because Pali means to speak, or I am speaking. You also have for you speak, or you are speaking. Once again, take note, they have you here. You have you here. This simply this is for your mates, your friends, informal situation. This is for adults, those in authority, your boss in the place of work, or a group of people. So the you differs. Now this is uh, masculine. This is feminine. They are completely different. This is masculine, feminine, feminine. This one is used when you have a group of just male or male and female combined. This is when you have only women, only female in the group. So that's you not know, the usage. So that you don't run into a problem in your French studies. Now, having established how to conjugate the verb ER verbs, let's look at this particular verb in sentences. Parler in sentences. You have the first one, je parle français. I speak French, or I'm speaking French. Tu parles bien anglais. You can see it there. You see the tu go with the par. Tu parles bien anglais. Then you have, for another again, il parle avec sa soeur. Meaning, he's speaking with a sister. He parle avec sa soeur. The next one is, elle parle espagnol. She speaks Spanish. She's speaking Spanish. Nous parlons de musique. Uh, we, are speak, we are speaking about music. Uh, vous parlez lentement, s'il vous plaît. You speak slowly, please. Uh, elle parle de leurs vacances. They are talking about their vacation, their holiday. So, that's the, those are examples. Elle parle souvent au téléphone. She often speaks in the telephone. Now, take note, this is for female. Two women speaking to themselves, or a group of women speaking to themselves. You have elle parle souvent. That's why the L is used. If it was a male and a female, you remember they would have been ill. So, take note of that one. And then you have mon professeur. When you say mon, this is a singular meaning, and professor is masculine. So, it's also like you are saying ill. Parle plusieurs langues. My teacher speaks several languages. Les enfants parlent avec enthousiasme. The children, you are saying they. Now, this enfant here, we don't know if it is masculine or feminine, but enfant, they, collection, plural, we are using parle. 
So you have to take note of all these as you conjugate your verb in the, the arrow verbs. The next one is don't say. So I already established how we come about the endings. So this is how you conjugate don't say. It means to dance, to dance. So the same thing, ERO verb. The same rule apply to everything. And so take note of it. This is another ERO verb. Let's go to the next one. And this is don't say in sentences. Like the previous one we looked at, the same thing applies here. You have your don'ts. Then you have to M, then you have LM. Let me erase this so I can see properly. You have LM, and then you have nous dansons. We have vous dansez très bien. You have les enfants dansent joyeusement. You have mon frère danse avec sa soeur. Then you have pendant le bal, et on commencé à danser. À danser. This is a bit advanced, but I just want to tell you that you can also use it with the um, infinitive level. But let's stay where we are. The next one thing I have for you is practical exercises. I don't want to dwell too much in that in this conjugation. You already have the formula from the very first one. Let's look at it in exercises. Now, tu dash français. Pal, parlon, pal, parler. Now, you must take note of the personal pronoun again. This is tu. I know tu has to go with es at the end. So this becomes your answer to par français. Now, the next one is LM dash à la fête. 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 You put the answer there. The next one is supposed to be parlé because you already have a conjugated verb here. So, actually, something missing. An R is missing here. So, this is supposed to be, supposed to be like this LM don't say. So, when you have a conjugated verb, the next verb coming after it must be in the infinitive. So take note of that as well. Let me not skip it. So the next thing we're looking at is no dash anglais. You know, no has to do with no parlons anglais. So I'm not giving this exercise to do. I'm going to do this exercise with you. Let's finish it up. Then we have again, il ne veut pas dash ce soir. Remember, you already conjugated the verb here, veut. It has to be dansé in the plural. Don't say. Let me erase this so I can see it clearly. This first one. So don't say become the answer there. The next thing is vous dash espagnol très bien. Vous parlez. This is going to be it. Parlez. Vous remember to go with iz at the end. This is it. Now become vous parlez. That's your answer there. The next one is le professeur dash avec les élèves. Now remember, professor here is masculine, like you are saying, il. The answer is definitely going to be the professor. It cannot be parlant, cannot be dance, cannot be pal. It's going to be dance. It cannot, it cannot be this because this has to go with you. This is the only one that goes with third person singular dance. The professor dance avec les élèves. The teacher dances with the student. Or the teacher is dancing with the student. Mon ami et moi nous dansons souvent au téléphone. Me and my friend we speak often in, on, the, on, the, on the telephone. For well, nous, look at it again. It needs to be parlant. So that's how you go about it. If you meet something like this as a student in, the exa in your exams, or you are speaking, please take note of the personal pronouns. They're important. They're important. L M dash. You know it has to be uh, parler. The R is missing here again. L M parler lot de fait. So because this one is conjugated, this must be in definitive. Tu ne dash pas beaucoup en classe. Remember, you have to. It has to be pal with s. Are you seeing it now? Es. Pal. Tu ne parles pas beaucoup en classe. Yo, pendant le bal, nous avons commencé à dash. We well, have commencé here. Okay, the answer is going to be danser. So this is already a conjugated verb. Although in the past tense, danser. So take note of it. And this is going to be the end of the video. I will leave this exercise down for you to practice more. So please, if you are not subscribed to the channel, do the needful so that you can get value for your time. And I'm telling you, you are not going to regret it. So make sure you subscribe, share it with your friends, students in other institutions of learning, you are a French student, share it with your friends, let it go viral, let people have access to this knowledge, and they're going to thank you for it. So I thank you for those who have subscribed. I'm expecting more subscription and more watching time. Continue watching, keep learning. If you have a question, drop it at the comment section. I'm going to answer all your questions. I'm going to reply to your comments. Till the next video, take care.